Okay, this is going to be part two of my welcome message. Uh, compared from video one to two, you can tell that this has been done on a different day. But anyway, we were going over the syllabus and I was talking a little bit about how the assignments are going to be given. And I wanted to continue working and talking about the syllabi um, and how the course is going to be presented. So first up is going to be course presentation. More or less, this course is going to be broken down into about 15 different learning modules. And each module pretty much is going to contain readings. It's going to contain my lectures. You may see that it'll have an assignment. Um, Assignments can include a quiz, so to speak, uh, although, like I mentioned, we'll also be having three examinations, but that's besides the modules. Uh, generally speaking, these modules would need to be completed within that one week. Uh, every week for 15 weeks, we'll have different modules, okay? So my hope is providing you with the... Um, opportunity to be able to gain knowledge about some of the major contributors within psychology to be able to cover different topics like developmental, uh, which is lifespan, uh, speaking about the psychological disorders and so forth. I'll be covering all of this and more and show you real life situations, discuss real life situations as well as see how it's going to meld within your particular discipline. Hopefully, what you will be able to do is explain what the scientific method would be utilized in terms of psychology, as well as be able to recognize it and then identify it in different scenarios and situations. Okay. Hopefully, we'll be able to devise a success plan. Because here's the thing everybody at this point, right now, has an A for this course. However, it's going to be up to you to maintain this A if you put in the work. And the great news is you're working more at your pace than at my pace. Um, although there's a deadline for weekly, you get to decide what day is going to be the best day to tackle general psychology. So if you put the work in, I can pretty much uh, say that you will do well in this course. You do the work, you do the reading, you will have a good basis on how to pass the course. All right. So now let's just talk about uh, some of the uh, policies and procedures of how hopefully this course is going to be ran and how my hope is, is that you'll be able to succeed. As you see here, we will be doing, I will be doing video lectures for the most part. Video lectures will last approximately 15 minutes per part. Uh, generally speaking, I will try to hold between 40 to 50 minute lectures. So you will see videos between four to five different videos. Um, besides that, though, you're going to also have um, assignments in, uh, that you will be doing some reading uh, not only from your textbook, but there'll be reading that's going to be associated within each module that you'll have to complete. In those readings, the assignment's going to be where you'll have to answer the questions throughout. Why do all this and give you this all this work? When you come down to it, if you're doing the reading, you're going to notice that the assignment really go align with the textbook. Therefore, you're only going to be reviewing, you're only going to be strengthening and reinforcing that knowledge base so that when you go to answer these questions, it'll help reinforce that knowledge, help you to retain it, and then when it comes time to take the exams, you'll do great in it. So that's the method to the madness, okay? Because I know at times with stress and you're taking other courses, it's going to feel maddening, but guess what? You've made it this far, you can make it even further. So. My hope is, is by this design, we'll get you through it. Now, in terms of class communication, some things that you might find, because this is an online class, is that I may open up a conference uh, and do live lectures. 
uh, and I'll let you know in advance when that might be done. If I find that we're going to be coming into a chapter in which we need to have more of a connection, in which you may have questions that need to be answered right then and there, uh, I can tell you more than likely the chapter on learning, I'll probably, when we get to that chapter, want to do at least one live conference uh, court class. And I will be able to give you a day and time um, and probably do a poll so I can see exactly when everybody would be available uh, so that we could have that online uh, live class lecture. Uh, but besides that, I will also be holding conferences close to the times of midterms as well as during the final week. Not for learning per se, but if there's those questions that's burning you uh, that you want to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with, there's numerous ways we can do it. We can do it uh, via private conference where we'll set up a day and time and I'll be happy to speak with you, uh, discuss your grades and so forth. Um, and before I go further, let me make mention now. When it comes to Canvas, a lot of people will think that your grades are rock solid in Canvas. Let me tell you right now, they are not. And here's why. What Canvas will be doing is holding the grades that you've earned. However, when it comes to calculating your grades, I do them manually. The reason why I do it manually is simple. Attendance is going to be counted for this course. Every time you complete an assignment, that is considered also attending the course. Now, if it's where you're not completing your assignments on a timely basis, because they will be locked out, you will be marked absent. Being marked absent can pay a heavy price and hit your grades tremendously hard. So it's important that you complete everything in within that week. With a week, I think that's enough time. When you miss the assignments, there's no makeup for that assignment. Like I said, once it's locked, it's locked. You will be not only uh, missing points for the assignment, but you'll be marked absent. And for every three absences, I knock off 10 points. I'll deduct 10 points from your overall grade. If it gets to where you are absent or missed assignments more than 30% of the course, regardless of how well you do on these examinations, you'll fail the class. So that's why it's really important that you maintain and keep up with your assignments, okay? Um, and that's why I don't want people to think that Canvas is giving you the grades. Canvas is only allowing you to see how well you've done, but you have to take that formula into considerations in terms of attendance, okay? So therefore, because of that, I will be marking, uh, calculating and your grades and scores manually. So I don't want you to think, because I know I've had students say, oh, I got a B, and then they, when they had a D, couldn't figure out why. Um, so I wanted to say that first and foremost, that in terms of uh, Canvas, it is merely uh, a tool to use in terms of your scores for you to keep up with your scores and know how well you're doing in terms of individual scores but the overall grades will be manually uh, calculated. Okay, so now that I've used up almost three minutes in talking about that, again, in terms of any type of questions you might have, please use the Canvas uh, inbox. Send me a message that way. Uh, if for some reason you have to use my email, you can, but I'm letting you know in advance. I get an abundance of emails uh, daily, so it's more difficult for me to keep up with uh, emails than it is Canvas Inbox. I check Canvas Inbox daily. Uh, if there's a question that I might have to work out some and find out an answer for, then I ask that you give me at least 24 hours. If um, After you haven't heard from me 24 hours, then by all means send another message or, or actually send me the email at that point. Um, but I'll be checking Canvas uh, on a daily basis and get back to you as soon as I can.
All right, so I already talked a little bit about missed assignments, missed examinations. If you miss, okay, if you miss an exam, here's the thing. The first two exams, you'll be allowed to do at, at least one makeup for the semester. So say, for example, you took exam number one, but you missed exam number two. I expect that you would get in touch with me right away. And if you know in advance that you're not going to be able to take that exam, you need to contact me so that we can make arrangements. But if you do miss it, you got seven days, seven days to contact me to rearrange to have a makeup done. If after seven days you have not, then for that particular exam, you won't have the ability to make it up. You have to get it done. You have to alert me and we have to arrange it within one week of an exam. Now, as I mentioned, that's only for the first two exams. The final, there's no makeups. So you want to make sure that come time for the final, you make sure you take it because otherwise, uh, unfortunately, you'll be out of luck. Okay. So let's make sure that we keep that uh, in mind. Again, in terms of assignments, there's no makeups for the assignments. I expect that they are done within that week period. Okay. Another thing in terms of talking about uh, the exams, all exams, of course, is going to be held on Canvas. They're going to be multiple choice questions. Generally speaking, for that uh, week, you may have just that exam. You'll be able to utilize your textbook. You'll be able to utilize the lectures. I'll also be uploading and placing uh, PowerPoint slides as well as review materials that you can use to help you pass this exam. Exams will be 100 questions. Yes, 100 questions. Um, and there'll be multiple choice questions. There will not be any essays. Trust me, that's a lot of reading to do. And I know we are fast moving, so I will make sure that you ha always have an I, uh, a opportunity to use multiple choice for your examinations. Okay. If you find that you have a problem with any of those questions, then what I'm going to expect for you to do is take a screenshot of the problem. Usually an error message may come up or so forth or a problem. If you see that you argue a, a answer, for example, uh, because I utilize test banks and even with test banks, there may be some errors. If you think you found uh, you made a, uh, a correct answer but got it marked wrong, then you'll take that screenshot, you'll send it to me, and I will review it. Okay, and then I, I will let you know whether or not you get credit for that particular question. Uh, in terms of submitting, you want to make sure when you take the exam to be sure of your answer prior to clicking the next button uh, and be sure of completing all questions prior to hitting the submit button. Okay. When you go to answer one question and you click next, you won't be able to go back to the question again. So that's why I want to make note of this. And I'll remind you when it comes time to the exam, but I did want to make note of that so that you have that clear understanding. All right, so what else do I want to share with you uh, in terms of welcoming you? Uh, well, let me give you at least a grade breakdown. As, as I mentioned, there's going to be three examinations. They're each worth 100 points. That's 60% of your grade. There are going to be at least <clears throat> 12 online assignments and they'll be worth about 10 points each that'll come to 24 percent and then finally your attendance and participation attendance for you meaning completing those assignments listening to those videos and so forth and yes there'll be a way for me to document that you've done it that's going to be worth 16 percent of your grade or 80 points in all and yes, they can, those points will get knocked if you don't do it, okay? So that's going to be my method of grading you. And in your uh, syllabus, you'll be able to review the rubric of how I come to all of this information and how I go about grading. So 
I think at this point I covered some of the heavy hitting uh, questions. Again, make sure you do read the uh, syllabus thoroughly as thick as heavy because it's an online class. Make sure you go through the entire thing. If there's any kind of questions you might have on this, please, by all means, send me those questions. I'll be happy to answer. Um, and as a, a caveat and understanding, there may be times I will have to make changes to the syllabi. Um, but any type of changes I make as far as for the course, I would always let you know in advance. So I'm now over my 15 minutes again. And your first assignment uh, is going to be, well, part one, because your first assignment is going to be in a couple of parts. You'll have to sign uh, a copy of the verification form saying that you've received and understood, as I explained to you, the syllabus. Um, and you'll have to download it, sign it, and then re-upload it, okay? Great way to do that is you can have, uh, you can utilize Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat DC. It allows you to sign electronically. I will accept that. Or you can print it out, sign it, scan it, and then upload it again, whichever way is going to be easier for you. So this ends the uh, syllabus overview. And now we're going to go into, I'm going to send you on over to your first lecture. So thanks for listening. I'm looking forward to working with all of you. Do send me a hello so that I can get to know you at least via the internet.